Yo, what's up, guys? I'm BBB Luffy M2, and I'm joined by. Uh, hey everybody, I'm Slash 687, or We Stand United, whatever you want to call me. Yeah, and we're doing a dual commentary. As you see, we're playing Conduit 2, and we're going to be talking about Conduit 3 and our expectations and what we believe is going to be in it first. Uh, we Stand, you're up. Uh, well, I guess you want to start out at campaign? Oh, yeah, so, um, you want to talk about campaign first, or should I? I'll go ahead, um, yeah, okay. well... I don't really really spoil anything, but if you played through the Conduit 2 campaign, you know that end scene, that pretty much guarantees a Conduit 3. Oh yeah. Uh, now whether they like have the funds or anything to do with it, I'm not so sure, but it definitely seems like they want to do it. Yeah, for like Wii U. Yeah, definitely. And uh, what do you think the story for this campaign will be? Because uh, it's a mystery for me. Well, I don't know. That just, like, giant eye of Ra that came flying around in the outer oh, space. Oh, yeah, the ASC? Yeah, it, I have no that idea. That scared me. No, I love that ending, though. I love the ending, especially um, when all those guys show up yeah, and just, Abraham Lincoln. I'm just playing, like, Conduit 2. Next thing you know, I see, like, Abe Lincoln, Thomas Jefferson. I'm just like, what? I know all in the destroyer guys and I'm like, we need your help. I'm like, okay, sequel, sequel, anyone? Yep, okay. Yeah, so uh, you could go anywhere with how you think that plot line's gonna go, Conduit Three. Yeah. Oh yeah, and in, especially in drama at the end, at the very end, if you um click her like click on her and she does the talking thing, uh, massive energy readings in outer space that are heading towards Earth rapidly. Oh yeah, I think. Well, obviously, I think Abe Lincoln and Thomas Jefferson are helping you. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm thinking that this, like, drudge war thing has been going on for a pretty long time. I don't know. Maybe it, like, influenced the start of civilization or something. Oh, yeah. You know, sort of like that ancient alien show you see. Oh, yeah. But, <laughs> wait, aren't the drudge, like, um, Prometheus's clones? Which always, I'd like, no. Have you ever played the first Conduit? No, I didn't. Oh, uh, well, let one. me then spoiler for the first conduit. Uh, all the drudge are clones of the guy in the ASE. Oh, yeah, that's right. And uh, I just, no, my opinion, I like the voice acting much better in Conduit 1. Prometheus actually sounded less um, nerdy than he really is. Like, the voice acting in Conduit 1 was so much better than Conduit 2. I just loved it much more. Yeah. You should you should play Conduit 2 um, campaign. The online multiplayer, not so much because it's hacked. Like, really weren't bad. Yeah, I played the Conduit 1 multiplayer, and that pretty much just turned me off from the whole game. I know. I was terrible at it. Then I got Conduit 2, and I was good at it. And I'm like, whoop, worst lag. Yeah. So you want to get into the multiplayer aspect of this? Well, yeah, sure. That's where I have some better uh, oh, yeah. opinions. So, so I think that... Uh, I doubt we're going to have kill streaks. I really hope we don't. Yeah, I, I seriously don't want this to turn into a COD remake, except with Halo wanna, involved. Yeah, and us, I don't want vehicles. I just... I don't even... I prefer Call of Duty to Battlefield 3 any day, even though I don't really like Call of Duty. Oh, it's yeah. It's better at, like, a slow-paced game, whereas... Uh, Battlefield 3 with all the choppers and stuff flying around. Well, Battlefield 3 was still bit. pretty slow paced. I mean, like, I played it, like, I actually played it over at my friend's house. It takes me two minutes to find one single guy. The maps are that huge. But, um, back, let's get away from that. We're talking about Conduit 2. <laughs> We're talking about a sophisticated game. All right, so, I'm really hoping that you're going to be able to be the pl uh, presidents on online multiplayer. Oh, I that'd be that hilarious. Be like, awesome. just... Just, you just take Abe Lincoln out with a Spaz 12 and maybe an axe and just rape with him. Like, no, um, did you get the limited edition conduit too? No, I just got the standard. Well, in the limited edition, it came with a custom art book. Uh, and they had, like, a lot of weapons and enemies in that custom art book that was not put into the actual game. Like, Mr. Ford had a freaking red energy sword coming out of his destroyer arm. And I'm like, why is this not in the game? Oh, yeah, I mean... 
energy sword, it's like starting to turn into Halo remake or something. No, I mean like I hope they have the energy sword in Conduit Three because that was like a cool addition. Like it's an it's not a weapon. But it's an upgrade that's a one-hit kill melee instead of a three-hit kill melee. Oh, yeah, that'd be cool. Like, you do a melee with an energy sword. Or it could take up a weapon so it would be less newbie. Well, uh, as for, like, improvements that they're actually going to make the online... Oh, itself, less laggy? I'd like to see them make uh, energy weapons a little more powerful because... Mostly you just see people with their USP 45 and their scar and their uh, small. Ballistics rock, dude. Ballistics rock. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, and TPC launcher, you know, that's the exception. I mean, they can't have that thing. Oh, yeah. You can't amp that thing up. Four, four is enough. Four is enough. I can't stand that thing. I hate it. Have you ever played Infected on Conduit 2? Yeah. That thing, TPC launcher, is the newbiest thing you can use. Oh. Yeah, they gotta get rid of that. Yeah, or I know. At least buff it a little no, I want them to actually put like an infected mode into Conduit Three. Yeah, I really but do. actually have like co-op for the infected mode, like they said. Oh, they you mean like um, you mean like the um invasion co-op for invasion? Yeah. I oh mean, yeah, I invasion. Mean. I hated that because it was split screen. The graphics were worse on split screen, and uh, it was just terrible. They yeah, they were having all these big promises saying that we'd have. Uh, like online co-op for it, but it never ended up happening. Yeah, you know. So like back to the weapon things. Do you think they're gonna have most of the same weapons they had in this game? Uh, I, I think they're gonna have the same weapons. Just like uh, maybe they'll change up the secondary functions and stuff like that. Yeah, you know. Definitely, they're gonna add a lot more guns, like they did uh, when they first made Conduit Two. They added like five new guns. Well, no, they actually only had one gun, the HVS-45. Well, what about the phase rifle? That was. Oh, yeah, one. that, the TPC launcher. No, not that. Um, that, the phase rifle, the carb, the, um, sand, I'm talking about, oh, the turret. No, but you know, actually, um, in the first conduit, there were secret rooms you can unlock with the ESE, right? And um, there were three different guns, a ballistic, an energy, and an explosive. The explosive one... Like, it's um, remakes of the actual guns. Like, the HV-745 is an amped up USP-45. They made a de-atomizer one, which always shot the charge burst, like, fully auto charge burst. And then a um, a uh, strike rifle one, which was, like, fully auto charge, which was, like, charge burst only two. So it's sort of like pack-a-punch, but for conduit. Yeah, basically. It's like pack-a-punch, <laughs> except much. And, it, and the only thing is you ran out of ammo so fast with it, so you wanted to conserve it. Like, I remember yeah. the last level of the game, that thing helped me out so much. Like, the de-atomizer, the amped up the atomizer, it helped me so much get through that game, last level. It was a bitch. Uh. Another thing that you're going to have to do is uh, not have so many glitches. Oh, that's yeah. First Yo, that's because of the graphics of the game. You have to admit, Wii has its glitches because of the graphics. Yeah, and they even still have some glitches to this day. That are, yeah, it's, especially on the map and streets, right? Especially on streets. Yeah, I still know how to get out a map on streets. They never Everyone knows how to get off a map on streets. I do it all the time in private. Screw public. I don't want that thing getting patched. It's too much fun. Yeah. Uh, and Psycho Car. Do you know what Psycho Car is? Uh, I've heard of it, but I It's like really... this fun glitch where you see, um, there's a blue car, right? One of the blue cars. You jump on it, get right on the windshield. You shoot. It's like the same thing with the out of the map glitch. You shoot and pause at the same time. You aim down all the way. Shoot and pause at the same time while crouched. And you just fly in the air as high as you can go. Eventually, <laughs> you'll just die because there's like no oxygen. You go so high. You can actually pause it. So you can actually pause it and like place a sand turret up there and land and survive. Like that's how people do it. So they make un invincible um, turrets. That's crazy. The Widowmaker. I love the Widowmaker. I yeah, just say you don't have the specialization on it. It's sort of not really not useful. that good at all. Yeah. Well, um, that's kind of it for now. Uh, this video is almost over. Um, thank you for watching, guys. If you're watching on We Stand United's channel, um, hopefully you'll leave a link in the description right to my channel. Yeah, I will. And uh, if you're watching on my channel, I'll leave a link to his channel on my description. And um. Would you like to do a part two of this, actually? We haven't gotten much into it.
Yeah, sure. We got pretty much off topic the whole time. Yeah. Uh, so expect the part two coming out soon. Um, thank you for watching, guys. VVV Luffy M two joined by. We stand united. And uh, peace, guys. Thanks. See ya. Yep.